We all know the benefits of adding solar system at your homes or in your respective businesses. Now when sun rises, the solar panels start producing energy. But most of the cases that production is not enough to cover up the early morning energy needs. And same as when we have a highest electricity consumption in the evening when the solar panels produce little or no energy. Now the home battery will bridge the gap of early morning with the stored energy from the previous day and also cover up the uh, electricity need uh, with the energy produced in a daytime. Now in this three minute video, I'm going to cover up about storage batteries, their type and few tips which we should consider before investing in batteries. Look, I'm not making this video to promote any brand and trying to sell batteries. Please, please do your own research or talk to someone for, for a consumption analysis because every single house have a different roof condition and their usage pattern. Battery paired with the solar system can help you weather a grid outage or it will help you if you live in an area where the grid can be unreliable. A solar battery takes the excess electricity you generate during the day through your solar panel and store it and you can use that later. When we look at the solar battery, we need to consider three things. Number one, capacities and a power. Capacity means that how much energy can be stored in the battery and the power is the flow of energy the battery can output. Number two, the depth of discharge, which means that how low you can run the battery before you need to stop and recharge it again. Number three is a warranty, which is manufacturer's guarantee that how long the battery will last and how many cycles the battery is capable in its lifetime. Now type of batteries for solar. As per my research, there are two types of battery which we can commonly see in a houses, which is lead acid and a lithium ion. There are some other technologies like salt water and a flow batteries also available, but they are still potentially new to the home market. Lead acid batteries are super cheap, but they have a short lifespan of uh, 200 to 1000 cycles. Now, nowadays you see more lithium ion technologies like Tesla Powerwall, LG Chem, BYD, Sonon and so on. They are much lighter and have longer lifespan and comes with the no special maintenance required. Well, usually solar batteries can cost between $500 to $1,000 per kilowatt plus installation cost and workmanship cover. These price also depend on the brand, where do you live, uh, your energy prices and what you are hoping to get out of it. Please do the calculation that whether the expected energy saving over the life of the battery will cover the cost involved. Apparently in some places you get extra subsidy on the home battery which reduces your total cost and in some uh, energy com companies are running the virtual power plant scheme as well. Now in last, what we should consider before investing in any battery. Number one, how much electricity you use and the time of the day you use it most. Do the calculation. Number two, adding battery affects your high feed-in tariff. So if you are getting less than 100 or 200 electricity bill due to a high feed-in tariff, then definitely you shouldn't look into it a battery option because it's better to sell electricity in the same rate and buying the electricity in the same rate in the evening as well now number three if you have already a solar then which battery would be best suitable for your existing inverter if it doesn't you will need to buy or install in an inverter in addition to your battery big question return of investment that how long it will take to cover the cost from your expected saving a qualified system provider will help you to calculate what saving you can expect now while commissioning storage battery there are other technical factors the location few other equipment needs to be installed as well which all depends on ac coupled or a dc coupled battery arrangement some people say that in future there will be a better version of the batteries but is it the same for every industry since i um, only try to make a short video so hopefully this information gives you a more clarity about battery thanks for watching thank you